Hello everyone. I made it to my hotel. I'm currently in Stockholm, Sweden. This is the first stop in my big Europe trip. I am here for a company trip. For those of y'all who didn't know, Spotify is headquartered in Stockholm, Sweden. So every new joiner has the opportunity to come to Sweden to see the place, see the office, um, engage with other new joiners, and then also listen to the C-suite kind of talk. I was actually supposed to make this trip like two and a half years ago, but because the pandemic hit, it got canceled. So this was a very overdue visit. I arrived around noon. And since then I've checked into my hotel. I'm staying at Miss Clara. This room is on the smaller side, but it has everything that I would need for the next couple of days. It has a really nice bathroom. And the best part about that is that it comes with some free burrito products. And then it also has this really nice and big comfy bed. The first thing that I did when I got to the hotel was one, take a shower and two, take a fat nap. So I just woke up from a two hour nap up and i'm still trying to get adjusted to the time difference i think stockholm is around six or seven hours ahead of new york so i've been struggling but i woke up because i am now super hungry i didn't have lunch and it is currently 4 22 so i am trying to hit up some folks that are in sweden as well for intro days and I might grab a quick bite and then call it an early night. day of intro days this is a three-day long conference and monday and friday are travel days so today's tuesday i've been suffering from really bad jet lag i slept around 11 p.m yesterday drank an espresso before to make sure that i'm sleeping at like a regular time here but i ended up waking up at 2 a.m and i couldn't fall back asleep until 5 30 so i woke up like 30 minutes ago got ready it's currently 9 i have to be at the conference center at 9 30 so we are going to run there see you bye
it's like a... Yeah. <laughs> It is day three of the conference and I'm finally over my jet lag and I'm finally not lost. I feel like I can take the subway pretty well now and I'm just walking there. Today we are going to hear Daniel, our CEO, speak. Without further ado, let's welcome to the stage Daniel. Good morning. I'm currently in Copenhagen. My flight got in late afternoon yesterday and I met up with my friends. We checked into our Airbnb and then we just took it pretty chill. Just had dinner, one drink, and we spent the night watching America's Got Talent. But today is our first full day here in Copenhagen. So we're gonna go out, explore, eat some good food, see some beautiful sights, and I'm excited. Oh, I'll also give y'all a very quick Airbnb tour. It's actually very cute. I am just stuck in this kid's room and I'm sleeping in that bunk bed. This is the entryway. This is the bathroom with a washer dryer. A small little kitchen. Very cute, very simple this is the living room we love the living room the lighting is so nice here this is the boys room the master bedroom this is F.A. hello it's Max hello <laughs> that's not what you were doing before <laughs> take two this is F.A. buongiorno <laughs> okay, this is Max. Take two. Hello. Max doesn't care. So they both are my co-workers. I think actually only one is my current co-worker, which That's is me. Max. That's me. Hello. We just came from Stockholm together, had a great intro days. That's fun. Yeah, That's and then good. F.A. missed out on it. He was recently our co-worker until he decided to stop being our co-worker last week. He got week. fired. That's not true. Yeah, that's not true. It was his own decision. Yep. But um, he's on to bigger and better things, and you're welcome for letting you join on this trip. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Everything is super dainty and the architecture is just so pretty. It's like a mix of Amsterdam and Stockholm where the houses look very similar to Amsterdam, some of them a little bit wider, but then it's more spread out like Stockholm. Very beautiful city.
just ruined his moment. He's not even running around. So the guys and I just split up. We are having some alone travel time for the next two hours. And they wanted to go on this fun bike ride excursion because they love biking and they wanted to go see some sights on the bike. I personally like to explore on foot. Right now I am waiting in line to go into this castle. I think it's called the Rosenberg Castle. I might be butchering the name, but it's a very famous place to visit here in Copenhagen. And I bought a ticket, so my entry time is at 4.10. So I'm just wandering around this beautiful place. I'm, I'm, okay, let me just read through this list and then we'll go Pump it out. Take a bike? Pump? What the hell? Okay, I think you smack it out. Slap it with a shoe. It's oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah? You What's up, Copenhagen? <laughs> How are you doing? This way, this way, oh, this yeah. way. We're going this I mean, way. Don't do that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> what I do? I love just throwing out this. You didn't do anything. Wash for bikes. Or L. This is O or L. So it's zero or a liter. A liter. Another beer. Hold on. No, no it's simple. It's either you get zero or you get a liter. It doesn't. I don't know if this place is gonna have a McChicken. <laughs> I think they have a lot of. Uh, Shedding all 